8 and verse number 1. Amen. I, the Lord's good, ain't He? I the only one thinks the Lord's good. Amen. I believe we got a, I believe everybody that's ever met the Lord left, uh, left meeting Him a different person. Amen. If you ever really, I mean, whether you got born again or just had an experience with Him, something changed about you. Amen. Amen. When you, when you, when you felt the presence of God. Ezekiel 8 and verse number 1, the Bible said, And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in mine house, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the, as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins even downward fire and from his loins even upward as the appearance of brightness and the color of amber and he put forth the form of a hand and took me by a lock of mine head and the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north, where was the seed of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north. And behold, the northward, uh, behold northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. He said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far for, off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. And, amen. And the Bible said, he said to me, or then he said to me, son of man, dig now in the wall, and when I digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said to me, me, go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do that, that they do here. And that's all I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, once again we come before you. How God just thankful Lord tonight for how God another time God just to stand. How God behind the pulpit Lord I, I pray now God you'd anoint me God and I thank you how for every testimony God, every song how Lord that's been sung tonight God we how Lord just thank you for that. Lord thank you God that how we've got a testimony God of what you've done our Lord in our lives and God I, I pray now Lord you let me open my mouth and God and how you just preach me God in only the way that you can our Lord speak to hearts now our Lord I pray that everything that's said I would be said according to thy will and for your glory God and it's in Jesus name how that we do pray and amen now how the Bible said that Ezekiel amen was I brought down to a hole brother in the water and amen. Now, if you amen, if you'd bear with me tonight, amen. I want to preach to you on uh, then and now, amen. Then, amen, and now, now, uh, brother. Like I said, if you'd bear with me, uh, brother, I'd like to just pretend tonight uh, uh, that brother on one side of the wall, uh, we've got a hole looking in, uh, uh, brother, to the church right now, and uh, brother, the church world right now, and uh, brother, on the other side of the wall, uh, we've got a hole maybe looking uh, uh, brother into the church of years ago uh, and brother I want to preach to you uh, amen on the difference between uh, uh, brother then and now now uh, uh, the Bible said that in the days uh, uh, brother of the early church uh, uh, that on the day of Pentecost that uh, uh, brother Peter got up and he preached uh, and the Bible said that souls were added uh, uh, brother to the church every day uh, uh, brother the power of God fell and they, yeah. man, they seen people get healed. Have they seen people, amen, have fall out with sin? Have they seen people, our brother, leave their possessions and come and follow after God and follow after these men have that preach the word of God? How will, brother, now, amen, the day that we live in, how you don't see many men and you don't see many women, our brother, laying hold of the cross 
Ghost and dropping the world. And the Bible said that Jesus said, if you follow me, you must daily take up thy cross and then deny thyself and follow after me. What brother, let's look at then. Back then we had men that amen sold out. Our brother, everything that they had had to follow after the Lord. Our brother, amen, that they didn't count what they had. Had to be in a great possession. But amen, they said, we're following after a treasure that's greater than anything that this world has to offer. Amen, the Bible said, amen, amen, if a man, I said it this morning, but if a man would gain the whole world and lose his own soul, what would it profit a man? It wouldn't profit you a thing. But brother, back then, men and women realized that there was power in this thing. I mean, they seen Peter and they seen John. Now look at the lame man and say in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, rise up, our brother and walk. And the Bible said that that man, I will let's look back in, our brother at the house of God. If you used to look then, you'd see a man, amen, running and leaping through the house of God, giving praise to the Lord. But let's look at it now. Nobody wants to praise God. Amen. I mean, I believe there's some here. Amen. You want to praise the Lord. But it ain't like that everywhere. Brother, well, amen. Junior said it Wednesday night. Brother, it ain't every church that's really got the truth preached. But, brother, if you want the word, if you want to worship God in spirit and in truth, we're going to have to have the truth. The Bible said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Brother, what is truth? That's what Pilate said. He said, what is truth? But do you know who he's talking to? He was talking to the truth that day. And when he looked at Jesus and said, what is truth? And this Bible that I hold, brother, it's right. It's truth. Amen, then and now. How do you want to know the difference between then and now? Brother, men and women, and that day, they held the word of God precious. They loved the word of the Lord. But now it ain't that way. We've got every kind of version of amen the Bible going around through the store. But I say, give me the King James Bible. Give me this old time. Amen, salvation. Brother, then and now, what is the difference? Men and women, they bought the truth. They sold it not. That's what the Bible said. I buy the truth and sell it not. What does that mean? When you get a hold of this, don't let anybody have it. Don't sell out for nobody. Brother, this Bible and the truth is the best thing that you can ever know in your life. Amen. 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 Then and now. Amen. I'm going to preach tonight. Amen. Amen. You pray for me. Amen. Then and now. I mean the early church. Have they seen miracles every day? Amen. Have they seen miracles every day? Amen. As God changed, God ain't changed a bit. And the Bible said Jesus Christ had the same yesterday, had today and forever. He don't ever change. I so who's changed? I will let's look at the end and now. I brother back in men was holy. I back in men and women. Amen. They brought their children up in the name and virtue and the admonition of the Lord. I but amen, it ain't that way now. But brother, we're talking about the early church. But let's move on up. I mean 50 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, right here in Southwest Virginia. Brother, let's look at then and now. If we were to look through the hole in the wall and brother, see what the church from 50 years ago was doing, they wouldn't need some band. Brother, with all the world of things, had to make them lift their hands. There was 
was a time that men and women, uh, they shouted over preaching. Uh, there was a time that men and women, uh, amen, amen, it wasn't the singing uh, that got them a going, uh, but it was the old time men of God uh, preaching the word of God. Uh, then and now, uh, brother, back in, uh, amen, it wasn't that different. Uh, if you see somebody down at Walmart, uh, amen, they wouldn't look that different uh, than they did in here. I mean, amen, they wouldn't look like a total different person. Uh, brother, now I don't know where time or go. Uh, amen, but I ain't out there. Uh, I'm brave men looking like I'm going down to the beach. Uh, amen, if I was to go to the beach, uh, I still wouldn't look like I'm going to go on the beach. Uh, brother, then and now, uh, men and women had standards. Uh, but now, uh, then they did. And uh, now they ain't got them. Uh, let's look through the hole in the wall and see what we're missing tonight. Amen. Amen. Hey, you say, preacher, you preaching that all the time. Well, you take it up the Lord. Amen. You just take it up with God. Amen. Then and now. Amen. Well, let's just look at it. Amen. Let's just look at it. Or if we just look through and see the church from 50 yeah. years ago. Uh, brother, yeah. amen, you'd see people, uh, amen, on the altar, and we do here. And I thank God for that. Amen, some of you, you pray a lot, and I thank God for it. I don't ever get so cold. I don't ever get so callous uh, that you think you don't need the altar uh, because we can all use the altar. Uh, brother, I need the altar. Amen, you need the altar. Amen, then and now. Amen, uh, knew where the strength uh, came from. Uh, they knew it didn't come from man. Uh, they knew it didn't come from nobody else. Uh, uh, but the Bible said uh, that the joy of the Lord, uh, that brother, it is our strength. Uh, where does my strength come from? Uh, the Bible said that David, uh, he said, I'll look into the hills uh, from which cometh my help. My help uh, cometh from the Lord. My help. Uh, you look back then, uh, and where'd the help come from? It wasn't from the doctor. It wasn't from nobody else. It was from the great physician of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. Then, amen. Then people come to church. Amen. You wasn't competing with the ball game on Friday night. Amen. Then you wasn't competing with the singing groups on Sunday. Ain't it a sight? Amen. You got to compete with singing groups. Amen. On the Lord's day. Amen. But this ain't no competition. Amen. God knows them that are His. And the Bible said, and the Lord knoweth them that are His. I let everyone that nameth the name of Christ I depart from iniquity. I back in people departed. I back in people said, we don't want the iniquity. I but oh, let's look at the church now. I look at the shape we're in. Men and women want the word and they want God too but you can't have both you can't have both let me tell some of you how you don't know it I'm going to reinforce it though you can't have your worldly music you can't have your rock and roll you can't have your country music and have the Lord amen you've got to sell out for God amen God ain't changed back in it's the same God that he is now amen well Amen, then and now. It's changed in our, amen, from our point of view, ain't it? I mean, look around. Just look around. You go to church. Amen, held revival. Women come in wearing leggings to the church. Amen, I mean, that's all they had on. Amen, so tight it, it hurt them. You say, amen, grab it and pull on it. I mean, that's how we change. Amen. Amen. I let, me, I let me just preach. Amen. I'm just telling you how it was. Then. Ain't no sense you getting mad at me. I, brother, then, 50 years ago, you didn't see a woman come to church wearing a pair of breeches. I mean, it just didn't happen. Amen. I'm just telling you how it was. I, but, brother, it's changed so much. I, brother, it's went to amen. I mean, we got so far away from it. I, brother, where's the old time way? Where's the old time way in our churches? Amen, that's the way it was. That's just the way it was. Amen, that's all I said. That's the way it was then. Amen. Amen, that's the way it was, wasn't it? Amen, God ain't changed a bit. God ain't changed a bit. Amen. You didn't see young boys coming in wearing shorts either. Amen. 
I mean, then and now, it's changed so much. Amen. I mean, I would, what if somebody from 100 years down the road from now, brother, was to look back at the church. Amen. Was to look back at the church and see the way it is right now and to see the way it was 50 years ago. I, brother Gerald, they'd see a big old difference, wouldn't they? They'd see a big old difference. I, brother, they'd see. Amen. Amen. They'd see that God. I mean, they'd see all the fine things. I mean, the carpet probably ain't changed. I don't know if it has or not. I, but if you used to look at Valley you, uh, the carpet's probably the same. I uh, believe the walls may be the same. Uh, amen, amen, years ago uh, as it is right now. Uh, but I wonder what's changed. Uh, I wonder what's changed. Uh, uh, those churches, it's been the same uh, for 200 years. I uh, brother on the inside. I uh, but oh, it's changed. It's changed in the people. It's changed in the people. I uh, held a revival up at Moss Creek. I uh, mean, a few years ago, uh, and they have a big old picture. Uh, I, brother on the side of the wall amen and they got that picture of amen people standing everywhere I mean it's in the early 1900's and they all walked to church that day amen you couldn't see I mean I don't see how they all fit and that little old log church I, but now we've got $50,000 cars amen $20,000 cars amen amen we got heated seats I, we got air conditioning and we can't make it down to the house of God Amen. Amen. Then and now, people have a desire to be in the house of God. Amen. Then and now, amen, there's more concern with their soul. Amen. Then and now, preachers was more concerned with your soul than this miltho. Amen. Our preachers was more concerned. Amen. With their soul. Amen. Than their, amen. With their, than having their pants on the back. Amen. Than having somebody like them. Amen. I've left this church before. I'm thinking half of you've been mad at me. I but God's been with me. And it's the devil the whole time. Amen. Tell me that. I but it don't matter if you was. I, we need some men like it was back in. And I'll say, I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Cry loud. Yeah. Inspire not. That's what the Bible said. Yeah. Yeah. Cry loud. Yeah. Inspire not. Yeah. Amen. Back in. Oh, well, I could preach all night. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then and now. Amen. Then, if men got up and preached something that wasn't right, yeah. them old time men of God, they set them down, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Then and now. If people got up and preached something, amen, it was out of, out of amen, out of, it wasn't in the Bible. Brother, they set them down. And they said that ain't gonna be, pre-. but now nobody wants to hurt nobody's feelings. And now nobody wants to, amen, we live in a generation that people are so easily offended. Amen, amen, some of you, if you'd stay off Facebook, amen, amen, you'd be a lot better off if you'd stay off, amen. Amen, you say, preacher, you can sit there and amen me. Amen, amen, it don't take no, it don't you take no, bit and a boldness to get on Facebook and call somebody out I put your finger in their face and tell them if they don't get right they're going to die and go to hell that's what they did back in that's what they did then then and now when revival was in the church Eugene, if somebody had been talking about you, amen, the convicting power of God would get on them. They'd say, brother, I've said things about you. Would you forgive me? Would you forgive me? Now we got so much pride. Brother, there ain't no apologizing no more. We've got so much pride. Amen, amen, men and women won't swallow their pride. I'd get on the altar. I'd let alone go to their fellow men and tell them, amen, they've they've wronged them. They've done them wrong. Brother, we need to get back to how it was back there yeah. amen. amen praise the Lord amen. amen I don't know how long I'm going to preach tonight I may be done here in a minute amen I just know that if you used to look then and now amen now now people ain't growing in holiness they ain't growing in the Lord they're going backwards amen they're going backwards amen Amen. Back in, people used to, the Bible said that the older women ought to teach the younger women. 
had to be sober, to be vigilant, amen, to be keepers at home, and to, amen, to do all these things. But brother, now, amen, mommies are teaching their little girls, amen, how to be whores. I mean, that's all, that's, that's all they're doing. Amen, they're painting them up in beauty pageants. They're making them a gaze and talk to men. Brother, back then the world did that, but the church didn't do it. The church didn't do it. Brother, vanity of vanities. All is vanity. I said the preacher. Amen. Am I preaching it right? Am I preaching it right? Amen. Then and now. Amen. You tell me what's caused the change. You tell me what's caused the change. Amen. That's right. Amen. We have. We have. Men have let down on things. Amen. Amen. Men and women. Not just behind this. But men and women in the pews. They've let down on things. Things that used to not be in their house. Are in their house right now. Amen. Amen. Things that amen, used to not be. Amen. In front of their eyes. In front of their ears. Amen. Are in front of their ears right now. Amen. Places they used to not go to. How they go to now. But brother back then. Let's look through the hole in the wall. And we'd see a church. Amen. They raised up their hands and said, Holy, holy, holy. Do you know why they know lifted up holy hands? Because there ain't many holy hands in the house of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But men are lift up holy hands everywhere. Amen. Without wrath, without malice, without doubting. Amen. Giving praise unto God. Amen. That's praise the Lord. Amen. Then and now. Amen. Back in. Amen. People had enough sense. Brother, I read a quote one time by Jerry Lee Lewis. Amen. Amen. Most of y'all know some of you young people probably don't know who that is. I hope you don't ever know who it is. Amen. But Jerry Lee Lewis. Amen. He had a, they quoted him one time. He said, I'm going to go. Amen. Amen. I think it was Rolling Stone that was interviewing him. And amen. He said something about going to hell. And they said, now why would you go to hell for what you're doing? He said, I don't believe that Jesus had a whole lot of shaking going on. That's what he said. I don't believe that Jesus did that. Amen. That, I believe that young man was raised right. I believe he grew up in a home that was, he was preached to him. He knew that he couldn't sing rock and roll and go to heaven. But brother, now in our day, amen, amen, back there and I was working up there in Appalachia. Amen, they had that contemporary music on. Amen, I ain't saying all of it's bad. Amen, but there was some country singers on there. I was singing about, thank you Lord for your blessings on me. Only blessing they got is that God ain't plucked them up and threw them into hell for the life they're living. Amen. That's the only blessing they got. Amen. You can't sing about drinking. But back then, they knew they couldn't. Back in, Jerry Lee Lewis knew that he was going to hell. But now, everybody's going to heaven. Everybody's going to heaven. Amen. For you know it, the porn star will be going to heaven. Amen. I mean, where you draw the line at? Amen. For you know it. Amen. Amen. I mean, the child molester will be going to heaven. Amen. You say, well, a child molester can't be a good man. Who told you that a liar could? Who told you a drunkard could? Who told you a fornicator could? Our brother, sin is sin. And when God looks at sin, he hates it all. Amen. Then and now, men and women do. Amen. You know why they don't know now? Because then they had a man of God that preached it to them. Amen. You didn't have to go 50 miles to find. Amen. A church had preached the truth back in. Amen. You didn't have to go. Amen. 50 miles in between this and that. Amen. I mean, there's some good churches, ain't there? Still, God's got scattered abroad. But, brother, it used to be, and there's more men that stood against the evil. But now we get up and we make a, amen, a five point, amen, five point sermon. I put a little poem in there. I don't ever preach against sin. But God help me, amen, to preach more against sin now than I ever had. My brother, back then, they preached against it. And if the world's more wicked every day, and then what do you think men of God ought to be doing right now in 2000 my brother in 21 or 22 what are men are doing they're not giving the whole counsel of God but brother back then men loved God more than they loved men yeah. amen 
I love every one of you, but I love God more than I love you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I love God more than I love your feelings. And let me just clear it up. For I preached something like I did this morning, it had to come to me first. Amen. God had to preach it to me first. And I, amen, the first things in my life had to take me away from, amen, my first love. Amen. I had to get it, amen, fixed up in my life. Amen. Then I can preach it to you. Amen. I heard I had a man. I tell me, amen, last July. He sat right down beside of me. And he said, I don't believe that young preachers ought to preach against anything. I said, the Bible said, I reprove, rebuke, and exhort. I with all long suffering and doctrine. I didn't say it, but I thought in my mind. Amen. Amen. He left her. He said, Call me sometime. Amen. Come, amen. I'll come preach for you. I'll come preach at your church. Amen. Ain't gonna be nobody preach here. I don't preach against sin. Now, brother, we need some old time men of God. That's like it was back then. Amen. Amen. Then and now. Amen. It's a big old difference, ain't it? Amen. Oh, man. Amen. The Bible said God told Ezekiel. He said, Go look yonder. I'm going to show you some abominations that they do. He said, I'll show you more wicked things than you've seen. Amen. He said, They got down and they was worshiping the sun and the moon and the stars. Did they do that in our day? Just open your newspaper. Amen. Just open your newspaper. Amen. Just, just get online, type in horoscope. Amen. They're doing it. They're doing it. But back in, men preached against it. And now men don't. Amen. I mean, everything's okay. Amen. There's men now. It wouldn't shock me that if I saw some preachers in their train, men scratching the lottery tickets. But brother, I'm going to tell you that if it was wrong back in, it's wrong right now. Amen. 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 It's still wrong. It's still wrong. It's still wrong, ain't it? Back then, they man they was looking through the windows, wasn't they? That's what they tell me. Amen. I wasn't alive to see them. Back then, hey man, they was raising the windows. Hey man, they was lifting the windows. Hey man, they was coming down to the house of God. Let me tell you the difference between back then and now. Some of them young men that come down to the house of God, they only had one thing on their mind. They was after the women that's in the church. Amen. But they was down at the house of God, weren't they? But now, you know what the difference between then and now is? Amen. There's more movie theaters. There's more, amen. There's more, amen, things in the world going on. There's more things to keep them home when revivals are going on. They didn't have nothing to do. I mean, amen. There was a drawing down to the house of God. And there was a drawing that said, come down. But now the devil's got his draw. And the devil's got his pull. Brother, I wish we could look through the hole in the wall and see how it was back then. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I wish some of our young people, and I wish I could see it, and some of you that's old enough to remember it, I wish God could refresh you. Amen. Just show you how it was back then. Yeah. Then and now. Then and now. Lots changed. Yeah. Lots changed. Amen. Amen. I've heard the stories. Amen. About being, people being healed. Right in the house of God. Amen. Right in the house of God. Y'all remember the story I told you? Bill Crawford was telling about the woman had to go to her. Yeah. Amen. They laid hands on her and it's gone. I believe every bit of that. I believe every bit of it. Yeah, but what's changed between now and then? Amen. We've, amen. We've watered down the gospel so much. Yeah. Amen. You know why the power ain't in the church? Because the power is the gospel. Yeah. Brother, the word of God is the power of God. And if there ain't no truth being preached, ain't going to be no healing. Ain't going to be, yeah, you might have, sh- you might have some sh- Shouting, but not everybody that shouts has got the Holy Ghost. And not everybody that runs has got the Holy Ghost. How you won't know if they got it or not. I'd go home with them. I'd see how they live when they get home. I brother, if we should see it back in, I we'd see men and women that live the same in here as they did out there. Amen. Amen. Then and now. Amen. Cancer was healed. Amen. Why don't we see that now? Amen. It ain't because God's lost no power. It ain't because God has backed up none. It ain't because God is a liar. It's because we've got away from the promises of God. Amen. Then and now, churches was filled. Amen. Not just with people, but with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
It don't do no good to have, have a hundred in here and sit out chairs when the Holy Ghost ain't filling the, the, the house. Amen. It don't do no good have a woman get up here and sing as down to Amen down to Silver Spur. Praise I wish yeah. somebody I wish if somebody knew it they told me. Yeah. Amen. Because I'd set that lost backslid woman down. Yeah. Amen. I pray, amen. I mean, I mean that's what we had in our homecoming. Yeah. Amen. So, somebody said, I'm glad my mom is here. So, I hope, I hope they hear it. Amen. I hope they hear it. I hope they turn the radio. You say, preacher, you ought not say that in front of everybody. Amen. That's a problem we got now. Yeah. Back in it was expected. Back in, amen, people knew. Back then they expected the man of God to preach it straight. Amen. Amen. Back then people didn't run home and cry. Amen. Back then. Amen. You know what? You know why it's like that now? Because amen, people maybe they're young and to death. It ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. Now, brother, sometimes it's your fault. Sometimes it's your fault. Amen. If this young and does wrong, it ain't, it ain't nobody's fault but his. If these young people do wrong, if I do wrong, if you do wrong, it's your fault. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But amen, that's what we got now. Back in, people had to fear God. Yeah. Amen. I mean, I ain't vilifying. Brother, I'm just telling the truth. I had no idea. Amen. Amen. Young man asked me, said, my ma'am, I'll sing. I guess. I didn't know him in homecoming. I mean, I didn't know him at the very next Sunday. I said, just tell her to come. She don't need an appointment. Amen. And some was telling me, as up there in the fellowship hall, she said, my, my husband will hear, come hear me at the Silver Spur, but he won't come hear me in church. Ain't no wonder he knows she's a hypocrite. Amen. Amen. I mean, you say, preacher, you're in the flesh. Amen. Is it the truth or is it a lie? Amen. Praise the Lord. Is it I telling you the truth or am I telling you a lie? Amen. And if any of y'all did it, I'd, tell you, I'd say the same thing. Amen. I done told you this morning. I, amen. I ain't got no loyalties. It's my loyalties to God. My loyalties to God. Amen. That's why there wasn't no power in it. Amen. That's why I want no anointing in it. Amen. Then and now, people had a fear of God about them, didn't they, Robert? Then they had a fear of God. Now, now they're afraid of letting man down. More than they're afraid of letting God down. Now they're afraid of somebody thinking about. Do you know why people don't come to the altar? Amen. When they they've been slipped a counterfeit. Amen. Because they're afraid of letting everybody else around around them down. But it don't matter. Amen. If people think I think bad of you coming and praying, I don't worry a thing about that. There's a God in heaven that knows everything about you. There's a God in heaven. A glory, hallelujah, that knows everything about. You. And if you've been slipped a counterfeit, uh, brother, back then the power of God, uh, I would come down uh, and men and women would say, uh, we need something from another world. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But how is it now? Amen. I'm afraid by the, by the, by the time some of our young people, amen, it's 30 and 40. Amen. That, amen. All that's going to be forgotten about. Yeah. Amen. All that's going to be forgotten about. Amen, but now, amen, now, it's just, say you go to church, go through a form, go through the motions, I'm done. Amen. But back in, if people come to the house of God and they weren't right with God, sooner or later the Spirit would tell on them because the Spirit of God would fall. Back then, amen, men and women, yeah, there was still sin. Amen, so it's always been sin. Amen. But men used to have a higher reverence for this building right here. Amen. They didn't throw beer cans in the parking lot. They didn't park. Amen. I remember I was a young preacher and I'm about done. I, amen. I was, going, I, didn't, I was going up to Bowen's Chapel. Amen. I didn't have an appointment that night. I hadn't been preaching long. And it was a Sunday night and they didn't have service that night. And I, I didn't have nowhere to go and I thought I'd just go up Bowen's. And I went up there and I got back there and didn't know they weren't having service. And I got back there and I said, and I thought they started at 6.30 and nobody was there. I said, well, maybe they'll start at 7. So I waited and I waited and nobody came around. But Eugene, a man, come down there and lived right up from a church. And it's sad that he even had to do this. And he come down there to see what I was doing. And he said, what are you doing down here? I said, I come to church. He said, I, don't have, I ain't having church tonight. 
I said, oh, I didn't know. Amen. He said, I didn't, he said, I didn't know why you was down here. He said, there's some young ladies up here on this mountain. Amen. To put it nicely, they ain't, they ain't ladies. Amen. He was afraid that somebody would be down there in the church parking lot. That part, amen. They committing fornication. I been having sex right there in the parking lot. I brought them back in. I men and women had no fear that God could strike them dead for yeah. what they are doing. Amen. But it ain't like that now. It ain't like that now. Back in, you say, amen, when revival. Amen, I'm trying to close. I told you I could preach all night on this. Amen. Back then, if there was a revival, amen, people dropped what they are doing. Amen. Now we got too many arms in the, amen, too many arms in the fire. Can't get all our hands on them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can't get loose. Amen. God knows whether you can be there or not. God knows whether it's sickness. God knows whether, amen, you really have to, amen, you have to work or whatever the whatever the case is. But God also knows whether it's laziness. God also knows whether it's slothfulness. God also knows what the reason is. Brother, back in, men and women had a desire not only to be here, but they said, when I get there, I'm going to praise the God that saved my soul. Amen. 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 Yeah. Back in. Things was different, wasn't they? If we could look through the hole in the wall. Amen. A man, a hundred years from now, look through the hole in the wall. I wonder what he'd say. If he's seen 2022 and he's seen 1990, 1960, what would he say? What would he say? I believe God might tell him and say, You think you, he might look at 1960. He said, you think that you've seen abominations there? Let me show you greater abominations than these. And it gets worse, and it gets worse, and it gets worse, and it gets worse, and it gets worse. Hey Amen. It ain't going to get no better until the people of God. It ain't going to get no better for the world. But brother, for me and you, that's the people of God. How We can have the power of God right here, right now, if we want it. Amen. 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 So do we want it tonight? Amen. Then and now, lots changed. Some of you remember. I'm not old enough to know what it was. But I know even from, amen, from the time that I was a little boy, it seems like it's changed to me. But some of you go way back further than that. And you remember. You remember. Up there at that, at that church you got saved at, how many got saved in that revival? They was 42. 42. There was, a, there was a revival down at Clinchport. Amen. I've heard Lonnie Townsend tell I believe 100 people got saved in that revival. Amen. Amen. We had, we had a handful and we thought that was a great move of God. We had one here last year because you don't see much of it no more. Amen. You look at it back in and look at it right now. Amen. If God ain't changed, you tell me who has. You tell me what's changed. Now you tell me why we can't have them old time meetings. Now you tell me why they ain't lining the windows. Now you tell me why we ain't setting out church. Now you tell me why the power of God ain't so thick you had to cut it with a knife. It's because the people of God have forsaken God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They've committed two evils. They've yeah. hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that I hold no water. And they've forsaken me, the fountain of the living waters. I don't know you need tonight. Amen. But you'd be an idiot. You'd be blind to say there's, it's the same as it used to be. You'd be an idiot. Amen. Then and now, a whole lot's changed, ain't it? A whole lot's changed. Me, everybody, didn't everybody used to preach in power? Yeah. Amen. You that, amen. You that's, amen. It's seen in days. Everybody, didn't they? Just about everybody used to preach with the anointing. Amen. Amen. But it, it, you got to go. You got to go a long way to find somebody that just ain't up there teaching. Amen. Everybody's got too dignified. Then and now. Brother Men used to say, if I wire myself out for preaching the gospel, it'll be all right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Men used to say, if I lose all my family for preaching the gospel, it'll be all right. Amen. Men used to say, if amen, if I, amen, if I have to look, if I have to deny this and deny that and miss out on that to live right, amen, it ain't just for the preacher to deny theirself. It's every last one of us that's sitting in the house of God. Our brother back in, people knew that this was a denying way. And the Bible said, if you live after the flesh, you shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, what are you going to do? Ye shall live. Yeah. Amen. Back in, 
people mortified their deeds, the deeds of their body, and they had life. Now, now it's whatever feels good. Amen. Worship's just a feel good thing. Yeah. Worship's just a, amen, whatever feels good to the flesh. Whatever music can make her foot start patting. Yeah. Amen, whatever music can, amen, make them feel like they're in a honky tonk. Yeah. Brother, I've been, I mean, I've been to meetings. Amen, down there, I mean, you've heard me tell it back in, back in the fall. I went down there a couple nights. Amen, that meeting, that sounded like I was in a bar. It sounded like, I, amen, I like, amen. Did you say, preacher, you against instruments? No, I'm not. Amen, but there's a right way to play them. And there's a wrong way to play them. And when it sounds like you're playing, amen, Hank Jr., and it sounds like you're playing ACDC, I, brother, it's not of God. It's not of God. I, brother, back then, men and women knew that you couldn't have the world and have God. Amen. 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 You can't do it. You can't do it. Amen. Then and now, there's a big old gulf. Can we ever get back? Amen. Maybe uh, us individually, I can get back. You can get back. But the church as a whole, until we all ever, until we all get down and say, God, we've left the landmarks. God, we've left what was set up years ago. We'll never get back to the way it was, the way it was then. We'll never get back to the way it was then. But I want to see the way it was then. I want to see the way it was then. Amen. God's still the same, ain't He? God's still the same. Amen. If you want to see the way it was then, amen, it's time, it's time that we, amen, we, we get honest with God. Amen. We, amen. That's what we're going to have to do. Amen. Seek out, stand in the ways and see. Ask for the old paths where it is a good way. And walk therein and you shall amen. find rest. You know why you're so tired spiritually? Why you're so weary spiritually? We ain't walking in the old paths. But back then, men and women, they worked all day. Amen. They worked all day for just a little bit of money. Amen. And amen. Didn't never never got ahead, I don't guess. A lot of them didn't. Amen. But they never got weary. Amen. They kept on worshiping God. And now, now that the race is run now. Amen. You look back at it. You say, preacher, we got a whole lot better off than they did. There ain't nobody in here having to build a fire on Sunday morning. There ain't nobody in here having to do this and do that. Hey, brother, if we got it, if we got a whole lot better than what they did, I worry, amen. Where's a drunk laying his bottle down? I'm not talking about for two weeks. I'm talking about for the rest of their life. Hey, where is that power? Where is that power? We can have it if we want it. Amen. 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 Where's it at? Amen. Amen. You hear them come in, anybody, anybody can quit it for two weeks. Amen. It takes the power of God to do it for a lifetime. Amen. Then and now. Then and now. Amen. What are you going to choose? Joshua said, choose you this day whom you're going to serve. I say, church, choose you this day what, what, what area you want. Amen. What area you want? I want back in. I want back in. I say, let me miss out on some of the world that I may have the power of God. I say, let me miss out on some of the world. Amen, that I may have the power. Amen, some people don't want it, but brother, I want all I can get. I want all I can get, Brother Clifton. I want. I say, God, have the Bible said that David, I'm trying to quit. Have the Bible said have that David said, Lord, have my cup runneth over. Have you know my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You yeah. see, it wasn't just one here or there. The cup running over is all over the house. Yeah. It's all over the house. Yeah. Amen. Back in, if you just look in the service, I know I told you I'm done. I'm going to sit down in a minute. If the Lord gets, the Lord gets done with me, I'll sit down. Back in. Amen. You might see somebody running around the outside of the church. Amen. Cry, shouting and praising God. They weren't worried about when their neighbors drove by and thought, what in the world is she doing? They weren't worried about when somebody drove by and thought she is crazy. Amen. Now, amen. Now people are pretty, they'd have you committed. Amen. Most people would for doing something like that. Amen. If we just look through the hole in the wall, now not everybody's a shouter. I, brother, not everybody does that. Amen. I know that, amen, son. I, brother, when the Lord blesses you, I, you just sit there and cry or whatever. I, but if God's told you to do something, I, then praise God, lose your dignity, and obey God. Amen. amen. Back in. Brother, you might hear somebody. Amen. Back here in the corner. 
that started to, amen, get happy. That started shouting. That brother, they'd make their way out of that. That brother, amen, you say, preacher, you're old enough to see him days. I seen some of, some of it as a kid. I'd go to church with my hand and uncle. I, but I wish to God I could have seen it the way it was back then. Yeah. Amen. But God ain't changed a bit. So how do we want it? Then and now. Then or now. I do not want now. I do not want now. Amen. Now we got people coming to church that think they're right with God. Amen. They look like a Amen. Look like somebody took bird shot and shot it through their ears. Amen. Now we got people coming to the house of God. Amen. I mean, amen. amen. Earrings in their in their tongue. Amen. Amen. I mean, that's the way. But back then, you say, preacher, amen, amen, that's between them and the Lord. Amen. Back then, they knew it wasn't right, and they no way they'd do it in the house of God. Amen. 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 Yeah. Praise the Lord. I know some of you think, preacher, I don't like this kind of preaching. I know you don't. But it don't matter. I'm going to preach it anyway. Yeah. Amen. It don't matter. Yeah. Amen. I've done found that. Amen. There's more that don't like it than there is. But I found there's a group out of the old blood washed band yeah. that wants the truth and the old truth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want it the way it was back in. Yeah. Amen. I want it the way it was back in. Yeah. Amen. I don't want this modern. I don't want all this. Amen. Just give me the old pass. Just give me the old pass. Amen. I'm, I want to walk in them, don't you? Yeah. I want to walk in them. It's one thing to holler you want them in here, but to walk in them out there, right. that's a whole different thing. And then and now, church, my, 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 if we could look, if we could look through the hole in the wall. See, God told, showed Ezekiel what was going on right then in the hearts of men. Amen. But I just wish God could show us what it was back then. Amen. Not even in the early church, but just 50 years ago. Yeah. Some of y'all remember it, but I wish God could show it to you anyway. Yeah. And just remind you what you're missing out on. Remind you what we're, amen, we're missing out on. Yeah. Brother, we can have the power of God if we want the power of God. Yeah. Amen. I want it, don't you? I want it. I don't know what you need tonight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what it's going to take other than just getting down and, amen, seeking the face of God. Yeah. Amen. You say, preacher, it really, amen, as long as we have the Bible, as long as we come to church three times a week, is it real? Amen. Is it going to be, amen, ain't that enough? Don't you want more than that? Don't you want to, amen, your grandkids and your kids to see the power of God in their life? Amen. That's why youngins can't get through the teenage years without backsliding. Because it ain't like it was back in. Amen. They don't see enough power at the house of God. They see more power in the myth. And they see more power, amen, in the, in the pain pills than they do down at the house of God. Amen. But back then, men had power. And men and women knew they had power. Amen. I don't know what you need tonight. If you need to come pray, I just come pray. Amen. Then and now, don't give me, the, don't give me now.